Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here with a timeless reading. Welcome. Okay, first cards that we have out are Ten of Pentacles and Justice. I'm also seeing Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. It looks like you've stabilized something important here and done it in the right way too, which means that it can't be impacted by anything energetically as far as when I say can't be impacted. What I mean is that like sometimes to when we take our approach to get to the Ten of Pentacles, if we're doing it in a way that's out of balance, even though we may be reaching a goal, it's like not something that ends up being sustainable for us. But because you have justice here, it means that you're, the approach that you're taking, this is like a lasting type of stability. And I'm also seeing to the chariot here, which means that it wasn't easy to do this in this way but because you are choosing to this is that moment of sort of like taking the high road to do something where it's more difficult to do things in the way of justice but because it's aligned it means that influences like the tower aren't have no business being here to knock this thing over because you did it the right way so it can't it's not um like susceptible to that sort of thing which is great because it shows you like properly building again in a way that's going to be like stable and lasting and things are going to remain this way because of doing it with that sense of balance and chariot shows you figuring things out and finding ways to like build using this technique essentially and that's how you get it to work Okay, five of cups can mean that something happened that is still being processed here. So there can be like mourning, there can be grieving, things of that nature. This looks like it's connected with the past. So I'm not seeing anything that's like necessarily a current event. This more so feels like it's related to stuff that happened back in the past. So we have that. Then next to it, I'm seeing Nine of Cups, which is connected with like what you want. So this can be like, as I'm getting over this, as I'm moving through this, like what I can't change and what did happen and me getting to a place of acceptance. So first you're here, then the next place that you go to is then being like, okay, in the present moment, like where do I stand and what is my heart telling me? And what do I feel connected to? And so it's turning your gaze away from the past and into the present moment. And there can be this feeling of gratitude. And you can also be like thinking about what you want because this is a card of wish fulfillments. And this can also be like about what you have and feeling happy with what you have too. And Ten of Cups can be, it's about like a deeper, a deeper sense and a deeper state of fulfillment. So once you understand what the Nine of Cups is for you, it then is sort of like the guideline of how one is to pursue their Ten of Cups. Because you're like, okay, I know in a deeper sense, like what is resonating with my pursuit of happiness. And because I know that, now I know the direction to go in. And so then we discover the Ten of Cups because of that. And at that point, it's something that you want to keep. It's something that you want to hold on to. Things are things are working out. Just be patient. I'm seeing some past stuff that's being worked through currently. You're doing it how it needs to be done. You're like, you're right on track. There's just some stuff still that's being worked through. 
I do get the sense of you like maybe realizing what's important to you as well. And that could have been something that was unclear before. Like so preoccupied with what was going on before, what already took place, that you were having a hard time checking in currently. But when you get to this point where you check in currently, especially this is like in a big way emotionally with all of the cups here, at that point, there's like something very significant that's recognized. And because it's recognized, it's something where you're like, I don't want to let go of this. I'm seeing it be one of those moments. But it took you needing to move through the five of cups in order to get to this point where you're realizing what's going on within your heart. Things are changing. So I'm getting that you're going through a bit of a shift. It feels significant. This shift that you're moving through. But at this point, it seems like you look, you look like you're feeling pretty good about things. But it's still taking time. I'm seeing you're like in the midst of this shift. So you're just sort of riding that wave right now. I'm seeing conflict and I'm seeing seven of swords. This can mean that there's there's something that's happening right now that you're moving through. Having temperance and having the death card means that like your job right now is to as things are shifting to find your balance. Because it's going to continue and it's also about like being patient and sort of like letting the transition fully do its thing and transition. So whatever this is forming into is going to emerge, but you're not at that point of it emerging. Right now you're like in the midst of this sort of shifting around that's happening. But because this is taking some time, some of you may be like feeling there are issues coming up, like feeling conflict coming up. But I'm seeing Seven of Swords here, so this feels like it's just a sort of your head messing with you a bit. Because you may like, you may prefer when things are stable and because things are shifting and they're not as stable as maybe you prefer them to be, there's this part of you that may be like starting to feel some tension because of it, but I'm seeing this be a message from your guides telling you to just like bear with this process for now. And to just show up as you need to be showing up and do not sabotage the role that you're playing within this because it's very important that you continue to show up here and see this through. So you just need to hold it down right now. There also could have been something happening because this can mean that there's some type of chaos, but I'm seeing the chaos or this whatever this is that's happening, I'm seeing it be specifically associated with things that are changing and shifting. So you know when you go through this, it can be like a more tumultuous time. Something may have like sprouted up that is like being worked out anyway. But when that happened, your shadow could have been like, maybe this is an out for you. Like maybe you can use this as an opportunity to to like exit the situation or to not show up how you said you would it's like that sort of thing with the shadow popping up so that's why i'm seeing your guys be like you really need to be temperance and you really need to just stick with this as it's happening and to not duck out Yeah, I'm seeing your, sh okay, listen, this is what's happening. As most of us prefer when we know what's going on, when things feel stable, when there's a sense of things feeling sure for us, 
when we're going through something big, because the death card is gonna be like a major shift that you're going through, so it can be like a significant relationship that's going through a huge change. It can be a living situation that's going through a huge change. It can be a job situation that's going through a huge change. It's just something within your life that, that it may feel destabilizing for the death card to be impacting it. However, having temperance here says that you're meant to be sticking through this right now and to see this through to the end, to see what emerges at the end. And because something that you knew before, it's changing shape, even though the energy isn't disappearing, it's just changing into something else. And so your guides are like, you need to stick around and see what this is going to take shape as because you do not know yet. You're still in the middle of this. And so you don't know what's gonna come out of the cocoon. But what I'm seeing is that I'm seeing your shadow pop up here. And this is how your shadow is like influencing you right now. Like this is what it's saying to you. There's some type of conflict. And because conflict is popping up, there it needs to be addressed but because there can be feelings that are heavy that are connected with this where it's like it's unpleasant to address this or this is bringing up difficult stuff for me your shadow is like maybe you don't really want to be here maybe you're not where you're supposed to be maybe this isn't going to turn into what you need it to be and so what your shadow is whispering to you is that like maybe you should leave but I'm not seeing that be like, this is not, this is not your intuition and it's not your higher self communicating that with you, but it can be very confusing because it's the shadow. And so it will like disguise itself as your intuition or like your better knowing and say like, Hey, I'm telling you right now, like you should leave this situation because you're not going to find fulfillment within it. It's not going to be what you want. But what I'm seeing is that you'd be walking away from your nine of cups, which is actually what you want. So it's just your shadow like playing tricks here because something is coming up and it's difficult for you and your shadow's like, um, let's cheat our way through this, like let's duck out of it, but you're not meant to be. And you would really be like losing something big if you decided to do that. I mean, it's not like the end of the world, but I'm, I'm just seeing your guides be like, this is your shadow telling you that you're not gonna be satisfied here, making you think about leaving when the advice from your guides is for you to be seeing this through with temperance and the death card. And as you're going through changes, right? Because the death card is like, there's this shifting that's happening. Of course, tension is going to pop up. Of course, conflict is going to pop up, but it's meant to be addressed and it's meant to be worked on, not ran away from, you know? Like your shadow is like, let's not address this. Like, let's sneak out when nobody's looking. It's like that sort of thing. But but it's not telling you that exactly. It's saying like, oh, you d don't even need to bother resolving this because it's not going to be what you want at the end of the day anyway. So like, let's get out of here. So that's what I'm seeing is happening. Like that's how it's coming through and trying to influence you. You may feel a bit overwhelmed right now. You're just feeling stressed out. You need to do what you need to in order to in order to ground. Focus on tending to mental health stuff cuz what I'm seeing is that What I'm seeing is that there's this, which is like, there's a lot going on. This feels almost like too much for me to handle. King of Cups means 
let's not make a decision. Let's not be reactive. Let's do what we need to do in order to take care of this and then see how we feel. So that's what the advice is here. So it's kind of like, you may not be thinking like completely clearly right now, just because of everything that I'm seeing in the mix and also stress and how when we're going through something stressful, when our like survival instincts kick in, the first thing it's gonna do is try to get you out of that stressful situation by any means, even if that means knocking everything down. What I'm seeing though is that like what you have going on is something very, very valuable, very, very important to you. It's the 10 of pentacles. So this is like one of the most valuable things for you. So ending with king of cups means let's not do anything rash right now. Let's do what you need to do to ground and then you're going to be able to see this more clearly. You're going to be able to sort of like detach yourself and look at this more objectively and then know what to do here. Also too, having 10 of pentacles and having temperance, it means that things are going to very much, they're going to stabilize for you. So even if it doesn't feel like it's stable right now, having temperance here says that if you will wait this out, things will become the 10 of pentacles for you. So it will be stable and it will be long-term and it will be what you need it to be, very much so. Justice and the death card means that something that was out of balance before that needs to be made right, that's what this whole process is about. So that's what's currently happening. That's what's currently underway. And that's why the death card needed to happen because something wasn't right that was happening before. And so this is like the karmic rebalancing of things. I'm seeing you overcoming obstacles, connected with conflict that you had been feeling about this situation that you're in. I'm seeing heavy, heavy feelings coming up for you, which it can be very difficult moving through this, but there can also be a lot of focus on um, like grieving and loss and those types of things. And then because you're in that very vulnerable position of facing something and feeling those heavy emotions, your shadow was like, this is a perfect time for me to come through because you're vulnerable, because you're going through this thing emotionally where this is like, because you're not, because you're going through something heavy emotionally, that's like the time when your shadow comes through and is going to like mess with you. And that's like exactly what's happening here. So it's almost like you're so focused on this. You're like not even recognizing or realizing that it's like your shadow that's whispering. And you're like, are these my own thoughts? Is this my intuition? Like that sort of thing. And I'm seeing like what it's saying to you is that like you why are you making yourself go through that right now and relive these things and have to address these things like maybe this isn't the thing for you so it's like really your shadow being like let's get out of here you don't have to stay in that space but it's really actually important for you to process this even though it feels super unpleasant and uncomfortable and it can be very sad and everything else that it can be it's really important to integrate this but your shadow is like let's find a way to like run away from it or whatever and so it's telling you it's telling you to leave but you'd be leaving like what you actually want so that's why you're not meant to be walking away because you'd be walking away from your wish fulfillment which is the situation that you're in even if it doesn't feel exactly like that right now that's what it's turning into and that's why you're meant to be temperance and wait through this i'm seeing ten of cups and I'm seeing 10 of wands. So this can be a lot that's going on emotionally. And it can feel too like, if this is supposed to be happy, like why is it so stressful right now? But it's just in, in the context of this whole situation, like you're going through something really big right now, but it's for the greater good to have justice here. And then also too, having 10 of wands and then having four of pentacles be connected with it, you could be um, at times like holding too tightly or taking on too much and having that be stressful, even though this is like already by itself a stressful situation. And then this is about holding on to things and not making any sudden moves. This is like, hold on to what's important. Don't let it go. 
but also don't hold on too tightly that it's becoming unnecessarily stressful for you. And then King of Cups is not being reactive to this, but just focusing on needing to ground your energy right now. Because really, once you do, you're going to be like, no, like, this is where I'm supposed to be. Like, I know that I want to work through this. Like, I know transitions feel uncomfortable. Like, things are going to reveal themselves. It's like that sort of thing. You're really right exactly where you're supposed to be. But what I'm seeing right now is you have some stuff popping up that may be tempting you to go through some type of escape route, but it's not going to be the answer. This is the answer. So yeah, that's what's happening. I'm seeing, I'm hearing Leo, I'm seeing Cancer. I'm hearing Sag, there is Sagittarius here. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Cancer. I'm also seeing Capricorn on the bottom of the deck. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.